Here's a project where we're going to make a Bay of Fang UV5R cable to the Digirig. Stay tuned! Digirig to Bay of Fang UV5R interface cable, take 1,442. Now, with your, yeah, uh, your Bay of Fang, you probably already got one of these in your bag. So what we're gonna do is take this out of the bag and we're just gonna cut off the cable itself. So the earpiece, we're not gonna use any of that. So once we do that, you're left with this wonderful four wire connector. And what we need to do is figure out, and there's charts on the internet, but the chart is not gonna help you when it comes to the wires on the inside. So what I've done is I've stripped the insulation off. It comes off pretty easy using the 20 AWG on my Klein auto strippers. So what we're looking for in this, in this drawing is on the digirig side, so I'm gonna draw the plug here. We're gonna have sleeve, then we have R2, R1, and then your tip. Man, I should just be using a pen and the tip. And what this turns out to is this is rig AF out, according to the digirig wiring diagram. R1 is going to be rig AFN. Num R2, we're going to point up this time, is PTT, and we know that this is ground. The sleeve is usually ground. Now on this one, the 2.5 millimeter, this is PTT. So ground to ground is what makes the PTT. Sleeve is PTT. Ring on the 3.5 millimeters is, if I follow the line, this is rig AFN. Now, when I do a video, I like to do more than just how to make it, I like to go through the process. And I'll have a rant another day on the process versus the outcome when it comes to the maker mentality and other parts of the ham radio hobby and hobbies in general. So with the 2.5 millimeter, the tip is AF out. So that is rig AF out. The ring is not used on this one. The tip isn't used on this one, and the ring is not used on that one. And you have sleeve, which is ground. So this is your G, N, D, ground. So we need to find what those four wires are. And I believe we decided that this blue one That one is ground. Now we're gonna take the helping hands to hold that in place. And that will be the ground connections. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of solder flux. Oh no. I ruined a pair of pants yesterday, or day before yesterday doing this very thing. Now my flux pen's really, really, really old. So I'm gonna go ahead and put plenty of flux on all of those. I'm not gonna use them all, but I'm gonna go ahead and put plenty of flux. We're gonna tin the tip so that we can get good heat transfer. We're gonna hold that onto the pad and the wires and let it sizzle for just a minute. And then we're gonna apply flux core solder. Let's find ring two's wire over here. That should be ring two, the PTT. Now we're looking for PTT, which is 
the sleeve on this one. So which one is it going to be on the black cable? Needs to find a happy little home inside that same hole. We're connecting the PTT. Let's tin that up really nicely. Now you're gonna see the flux boil off and hopefully some of the enamel too. Now the next wire that we need to find is gonna be ring one for this one. So let's connect to ring one. Let's use our gator clip here. And ring one should be that one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this through out and under. That's ring one. We'll skip one more hole. Let's take that off for just a moment. Let's see, we'll bend that down. A little hot glue would be real nice to keep those in place. We'll skip one more hole. Just to keep them separated. We're gonna place that inside the via. We'll put this right here. We should only have two wires left on the black one to check. Okay, so it's this one. Going to use the tweezers to pull it through. Okay. We know that these two belong in that hole right there. That one does not want to stay. Then we'll apply some solder to the pad. Now let's check for continuity. We just connected rig AFN to rig AFN and we don't have any shorts. So that is excellent. Okay, we have one wire left on the, on the Bayafang connector and that is it right there. So we are going to undo this one. We're gonna pull this wire with the tweezers, being careful not to disturb the insulation that's around it. That's gonna go in the last hole. We should have enough. We do have enough. Let's go ahead and try to push that through there. Now we need rig AF out, which is the tip of this one. So we need to find the tip on this one. I think that's the tip right there. So we need to get this to go through. Okay, now I'm gonna use my finger to hold that down and we will use the helping hands to hold both of those wires still. in the tip so you can get some good heat transfer apply a little bit of pressure mostly to the wires themselves a little bit to the pad and that way you can burn off whatever horsehair or enamel is on those wires and then try to apply the solder to the pad now, if you're just splicing wires, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna need heat shrink of some sort. 
Now let's look at rig AFN. Make sure that we only have rig AFN. Rig AFN should only Okay, yep, that's right. No short, no short. That is right, rig AFN, my arrows moved. No shorts there, that's excellent. This is <laughs> the second go round of this particular cable that I've made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue this one to the bottom, that strain relief, and then I'm gonna hot glue this one to the top for strain relief. And then we'll let heat shrink do the rest, I guess. We're gonna put some hot glue on the top to hold this in place. But we're gonna pour some hot glue all over it. So here is the table and I'm about to put the heat shrink onto the heater and we're gonna we're gonna make this happen so you can see over here it doesn't receive there's your update it might be the Bay of Fang is just being dispensed from the uh, the magic of the radio happening from outside the outside antenna from my other rig so let's go ahead and put the heat shrink. And what I'm gonna do is take this and pinch the end shut and hold it. There's glue inside the heat shrink as well. So that should provide us with a modest amount of strain relief along this connection. So here is what I made. It is a Beofang connector, which you get from the headphones that they send you with your radio. Cut the wire off. I used a piece of circuit board. You can, you, you can solder them directly together. That's, that's up to you. But I used a piece of my own circuit board that just had a bunch of vias on it and solder pads and made the connection to this other free cable that I had. So I have zero dollars in this zero dollars for a thirty dollar cable or pretty close to it and this interfaces with the digirig to the computer and so you can use your bay of fang um, at your own risk so mine is not working because i'm transmitting and receiving from this from the same location and these things are known to get descents by strong signals so it does happen Pretty sure this works, so I'm gonna move on and um, do the next one. The next video that's gonna come out is gonna be for the more difficult radio to build, and that is the Yesu connector. It's gonna be a little bit more of a blast. Okay, I'm Robbie, W1RCP. This has been a full project. Tune back next time, 73.